I've got a secret. eventing and today's vlog is going to be another really really fun one because today we're actually going to look at a horse so i am really really excited um as you guys probably know we've been on the look for a horse for quite a while now but yes yeah, so we're going to look at one today and i'll update you guys when we get there so let's go on with the video so guys we got there and the viewing went really really well and as you can see she's right there quest is right there and the one with like a question mark on her face and she's so pretty and so cute and we really liked her so we decided to buy her and the next day we went to go and pick her up and at this point I was so excited um because obviously it was my first horse and everything and driving down the driveway I was literally screaming with excitement because I couldn't believe it we've been searching for so long and finally one that was absolutely perfect finally turned up. So like I said, you can obviously tell that we're just driving down the driveway now. And yeah, I, uh, I was just ecstatic, honestly. And here she is, just about to load her. Um, they had actually had a few problems loading her before, but we'd never had a problem with her. She just went straight on. And this is when we got home. She is so pretty. We did decide to let my dad walk her off though, just in case she was a little bit excited and decided to kind of pull us off a little bit, but honestly she was absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, to say that she'd only been loaded three times in her life, <clears throat> she loaded perfectly and she travelled perfectly as well. As you can see, she was a little bit like, oh, where is this? And this is her in the stable for the first time. And guys, she is five years old and 15 hands and she has been on the same yard for her whole life with her mum and honestly to say that she's away from her mum for the first time she was absolutely fine <laughs> she couldn't care less honestly but she's just so lovely and so caring and just wants to cuddle and kiss you all day long but yeah so uh, she's so good with new surroundings and she's such a quick learner so, yeah. She's always got her ears forward, which does mean that she's happy. So, hopefully that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, she's just amazing. I love her so much already. As you can just see, I just pulled that stupid face and showed you my hand because she is very dusty. So, yeah. And here you can see she's seen her new sisters for the first time. Annie is very interested. Ruby just. Her, oh, there she is. She has finally seen her. As you can see, she's very inquisitive. And this was our first groom, um, because this is going to be the first time I was riding that. Don't worry, it wasn't on the exact same day. We gave her a day to settle in, and then decided to ride her. So, yeah. And I also got a new head colour, which is the Lemure one in plum and she looks absolutely amazing with it and here are some more pictures and this was our first ride so as you can see I look kind of small on her compared to Ruby and Annie but honestly she's so amazing she goes off a voice command all the time I literally have to say walk on Trent on Canada and I have to use no leg basically but she's not strong um, 
I hardly have to feed back at all. <laughs> we did some poles just to kind of get her in the swing of things. Right. She doesn't really know her striding yet because she's quite little, as you can see. She kind of messed up, but that was our first jump. I think that was our second ride. Um, but yeah, that was that jump. <laughs> And as you can see, they that her old owners kindly let us have her Lemuel pad, which is the I think it's the tangerine. Okay, what's it called? I can't remember. It's something like that anyway. Um and because she's liver chestnut, it goes so well with her. And as you can see, to say that she hasn't done a lot of jumps nor anything, she does absolutely amazing. This was her first time going out with Ruby and Annie, because we gave her just a few days to um, settle in the stable and then we let her out and they were absolutely fine. They didn't fight or anything, they just kind of got on. We did have to get her a fly mask though because the flies were absolutely obsessed with her face. I don't know if it's a colour or a marking, I'm not really sure, but yeah. Then this was another ride that we had. And bearing in mind guys, at this point she hadn't even jumped to Noxa. So yeah, she's just so uneducated and that's one word that we've been using a lot. Sometimes she does bunny hop and have a few jumpy little moments, but it's honestly because she doesn't know what you're asking for. She's so unsure because she's never been anywhere, never done anything, so yeah. And also, because she was so young, we made sure to do lots of flat work and circles and serpentines and stuff like that to really get her thinking. Then we decided to start doing just singular jumps because the poles were kind of making her stride in because obviously she didn't know her stride in. They were just kind of messing her up towards the jump, so yeah. Then we took her to our first lesson at Elms with, with Kath and we didn't go that high but we just wanted to kind of get her out and around. So yeah, as you can see she was a really good girl um, to say that she'd never really been anywhere before and to begin with on the surface when I was trying to lead her in she was like what is that but she got used to it. Then we put them up to uprights and I took her over this butterfly one which I was really surprised that she went straight over because it's quite a scary jump so yeah.
then we did a little course which wasn't a full course because obviously she hasn't got that much stamina yet but she was still a really good girl to keep going the whole way around. Then, as you can see, we went on a little shopping trip and we got a new bridle in a bit because for what we was doing and stuff, it wasn't really fitting and it wasn't very comfortable for her. But as you can see, she looks very, very smart. We got a new Premier Equine saddle pad and we also got a new pair of boots, as you'll see in a minute, some Premier Equine ones. And she'd never had boots on before and she took to them. <laughs> but for the first five minutes, she was walking like a chicken because she did not know what was on her legs. But as you can see, she looks really really smart and the reason we've put a flash on that is because she likes to play with a bit a lot and then she starts sticking her tongue out and then she manages to get her tongue over a bit so we just decided to put that on it's not on very tight it's just to kind of keep it shut just whilst we're riding so she's not messing about with it and here as you can see she's still walking a little bit weird with those boots on um, but it actually makes her move really nicely. <laughs> she keeps seeing a few flying changes, as you can see. But yeah. Then it was another little jumping session and we decided to actually try with an oxa. And by the time, it was around 90 centimetres and she just popped straight over it. And then we went to our first cross country session and to Eagle and she was absolutely amazing. Basically jumped anything that I pointed her at and we wasn't just doing little ones either, we was doing some of the big ones and as you can see here she just pops over them like they're absolutely nothing. To begin with, we just started off in the little field where the steps and stuff are, just to kind of get her going a bit. Then we actually jumped her out of the little field into the big field from these tyres, and these are actually quite big, so I was really proud of her for jumping those. And then by this time she got herself going and she was taking me into the jump so I just kind of pointed and fired really um, but then uh, I took her down the sunken road and she went straight down it which I was really pleased about actually because I thought she'd have a little look but she didn't she actually just went straight down it as you'll see here you just kind of see her disappear and then come back up again. Then I just kind of went for any jumps that was in eyesight, really. Uh, just kind of pointed and fired, really. And as you can see, she just pops over them. Then we did this little ditch, which again, she popped yep. over. But the first time I actually took her over that, she tried to stand in it. And then we did this big bush, which this one is big. So I was really proud of that. This little combination which she did absolutely amazing again and yeah and then we just kind of went round and did what we wanted really um i tried to aim her at some of the scarier ones as well like this just to get her used to it and honestly she was absolutely fine i jumped over this little bush and she did absolutely amazing again as you can see Then we jumped this castle which is now my new favourite jump. On the other side it's actually different, it's got some like water and stuff but we jumped it from both ways. On Ruby Nanny this seems absolutely massive 
but on her it seems really small and she just jumped it straight away we jumped the bed and we kind of just went over anything really <laughs> I took her over this skinny and we took the pole out with us <laughs> but yeah then I got her to go over it again and she jumped it absolutely fine then I took her over this bench which is actually quite big in real life then to finish off with we went through the water which she's never done before and she just went straight through it up and down the step it wasn't actually that deep today but yeah I was honestly so so impressed with her Then I decided to make up a little course, which you can kind of see me. There we go, when you zoom in, you can see me a little bit better. Just went over random jumps, really. And then I decided to finish on that because she was such a good girl. So guys, that is my journey with Quest so far. I'm actually in love with her already. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, but she's a thoroughbred cross Irish sports horse. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm in love with her already. And make sure to keep tuning in because there are going to be lots of videos with her. Not forgetting Ruby and Annie, of course. They're still going to be featuring a lot in my videos. But yeah, and I've also already got her in this stable plaque. So yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also Imogen Grace event on those too. Subscribe to the notification bell and so you don't miss any of my videos. And please give it a big thumbs if you liked it. That's all for today guys. Bye!